Hello, hello, and welcome back to a new video by the Desk Course platform. My name is Johan, and I will be your host in this video. Okay, so in the last video, we uh, created the article articles controller, uh, the guides controller, and we actually also registered those. So that is all finished. Now we have to create a session controller. So we go to controllers, a new file, then session controller. So before we're going to do this, first let's clean up this a little bit. Let's close a lot of stuff because there's so much stuff open that we almost lose the oversight. So this looks better. Okay, so we're going to do import. Vapor. Import. Fluent. And we're going to do struct. Session. Controller. And this is going to be of the content handler protocol. So for the people who are just uh, binding in, we actually are building the Descorch uh, Academy API. Uh, Descorch Academy is going to be a new product with Descorch, and it's going to be specialized in target courses. So we're actually going to create courses uh, for certain targets. So for example, Swift, uh, Advanced Swift, or maybe uh, UIKit, Swift UI, Core Data. So instead of like creating like full developer courses where you have to watch two, three hundred hours of video. We just create like smaller courses because smaller courses are actually better to grasp and it's easier for you guys because you can actually decide what to learn, what you want to learn yourself. Okay, so the type alias answer is going to be session model. The model is also going to be session model. And the reason why we have answer and model as a type alias is in case, in case we actually need to change the answer and we actually want to retrieve something else. And if not, it's not bad that it's there because maybe in the future we can use it for something else as well. So this is going to be HTTP status. Now we have to wait, now we have to wait a second uh, till he finds it and then we can actually do a new fix. And this actually gives us the, um, the functionality. Let's actually put this one there. Uh, for the people who didn't watch my series yet, when I code I actually like to have all the information and the models on the top. Uh, I know that the um, protocol doesn't do it this way, but believe me, this is easier. Okay, so first we have to check the session model really quick. If we have something like an author. No, we don't. Okay, that's perfect. So we don't have to worry about the, um, about the user, right? So what we can do is let session equal to um, try uh, rec dot content dot decode and we're gonna do create session dto dot self after that return try await wait um session controller dot re oh, not session controller this actually has to be session service here it is dot create this is going to be rec create dto is going to be session and then we have and this is a problem because this is author and so we actually we got we're going to give it the value we're just not going to use it okay so let user is equal to um rec dot auth dot get user model dot self and in here we can actually call the user because we actually don't need the value, right? Because we're not using it inside the session. We can actually do it like this. And let me check the create function really quick, just to be sure. Are we using something that, you, that we need to know? No, we don't. Okay, perfect. So then we go to get, let session equal to uh, rec.parameters.get. And we're gonna get this slug. Then we have um, return try await session services dot get all just like this. And this is gonna be a rec. No, 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 not get all. We actually just need get. Wait a second dot get gonna be rec and the object is gonna be session okay so then we have to get all we can actually do return try await session service dot get all this is gonna be rec 
then we have the update so in here let um, session equal to rec.parameters.get and this is going to be plug then we have let updated session is equal to rec uh, try rec.content.decode um, update session detail.self and then we have return try await um, session services dot update and we have rec the object is going to be session and the next one is going to be the updated session and then last but not least it's going to be the delete function that session oh let session is equal to back.parameters.get it's going to be the slug and then after that return try await session service dot delete on rec and after that it's going to be session okay so now the session control is finished mm, let me check really quick so we have to uh, that's perfect so we can go to routes and now we can actually register this one so admin token art group dot oh wait so first we have to register the article or we have res to rest it oh my god we have to register the controller so let session controller is equal to session controller just like this and then we can go here admin token out group with post and we have a string here and then we can do routes enum dot um, sessions dot raw value just like this then we can actually do um, session controller dot create okay then the next is going to be admin token art group dot get backslash routes enum dot dot sessions dot raw value and this is going to be um, the parameter so this is going to be raw um, backslash route parameter dot plug dot raw value and we're going to use the um, session controller dot get then we have admin token out group dot get going to be string it's going to be routes enum dot session oh. routes enum dot sessions dot raw value and we also then we're going to do um, session controller dot get all admin token art group dot update right no 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 dot patch <laughs> sorry so then we're going to do a string routes enum dot sessions dot raw value comma this is going to be route parameter dot plug dot raw value oh my god dot raw value and we're going to do session controller dot Dot update perfect and last but not least admin token art group dot delete okay routes enum and we actually have to change here the 
enum to e otherwise it's not, it's not gonna work dot sessions dot raw value and we have another comma you can actually delete that one there in there backslash about parameter dot slug dot raw value and use session controller dot delete perfect so these are actually all the all the admin routes still now mm, so this is actually for all the creation stuff and everything and as you remember we also have the um, the content filter protocols and we actually still have to uh, implement those as well for everything but we're going to do that in an, uh, in another video i think or we can do that now as well actually but no 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 we're going to do that in another video because we actually also have to build the services for this and that's also going to be crazy um, i have to end this video because i have to go now but as you can see now it actually goes really fast now we actually have all the routes for the admin register so everything that we want to do for all the content and yeah we can actually almost start testing and we can actually also almost start using the of starting to build the user service so that's also going to be really cool um okay so i'm going to end this video uh thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you learned something if you have any questions make sure to uh, hit me down in discord or hit me up on uh down in the down in the comment section and if you guys enjoyed this video please give me a like and maybe subscribe and yeah and if you still want to code with me let's go to the next video